Now, when this war broke out, NBC4 introduced you to an Ohio University graduate living in Israel teaching English to children. She has seen bombs fly overhead in Tel Aviv and says that she's truly been living in fear. NBC4's Delaney Ruth checked back with her to see how things have changed, if they have at all, in the last two weeks. Delaney? Jennifer Jared, OU alum Shay Mandon, and her American roommate Michaela Mizrahi, they've been living in Tel Aviv since August, and they say the violence in their country has escalated since October 10th. That's when I last spoke with them. Now, Mandon tells me she was driving on a highway outside Tel Aviv when she saw and heard rockets flying directly above her head. She had to get out of her car and duck down, and she says everyone around her was on the highway, lying on the ground and praying those rockets would not rain down on them. Now, there was no bomb shelter she could run to, and she says that is when she knew she had had to get out of Israel. She and Mizrahi had been debating leaving for days and they say they just couldn't be sitting ducks in Tel Aviv any longer. Living in that fear and that anticipation of a siren every second of the day while you're sleeping, while you're sleeping, while you're showering, um, you just it, you can't you can pretend to be normal um, for as long as you know your mental state allows. Um, but again, we do have the privilege of leaving, so it just seemed like it was the right time. Well, they say they've been subjected to anti-Semitism over the past few weeks, so much so they told me they stopped wearing their Star of David jewelry for their own protection. 